The Malaysian Army is the backbone of the Malaysian Armed Forces. It has carved its prominence in the annals of military history with splendid battle honours in safeguarding the country's sovereignty and security. The Malaysian Army was incepted on the 1st of March 1933 with the establishment of an experimental company of 25 recruits as a result of the Malay Regiment Bill passed by the Federal Council of Federated Malay States on 23rd January 1933. The 1st Battalion of the Malay Regiment was formed on the 1st of January 1938, followed by the formation of the 2nd Battalion on the 1st of December 1941, one week before the Japanese forces invaded Malaya through landings at Singora, Patani and Kotabaru Trantan. Both battalions fought gallantly alongside the British forces against the invading Japanese forces during the war until their capitulation at the Battle of Bukit Chandu at the Pasir Panjang Ridge in Singapore on February 15, 1942. The courage caught the admiration of both the British and the Japanese forces. General A. E. Percival who was then the general officer commanding of Malaya, made this remarkable statement. These young and untried soldiers acquitted themselves in a way which bore comparison with the very best troops in Malaya, in particular by their stubborn defense of the Pasir Panjang Ridge at the height of the Battle of Singapore. They set an example of steadfastness and endurance under the most difficult conditions which become a great tradition in the regiment and inspiration for future generations. After the Second World War, the Malaysian army fought against a guerrilla-type insurgency staged by the Communist Party of Malaya. The campaign dragged for 33 years over two emergency periods. The first was from 1948 to 1960, and the second from 1968 to 1989. At the same time, the Malaysian army faced the outbreak of the Indonesian confrontation from 1963 to 1966 and an armed rebellion by the North Kalimantan Communist Party in Sarawak from 1969 to 1990. Together with other security agencies, the Malaysian army had managed to suppress and put an end to all of the armed conflicts. The armed insurgency by the Communist Party of Malaya in Peninsular Malaysia ended with a peace accord signed on the 2nd of December 1989, and the armed rebellion by the North Kalimantan Communist Party in Sarawak ended with a peace agreement signed on the 7th of October 1990. <laughs> The stories of success and the accumulative battle experiences laid a solid foundation for the Malaysian army to breast future challenges.